Okay, spray is done, stripes is done, classic is done, geometric tool, not flora. Destroy 25 aerial score streaks or vehicles in multiplayer. Aerial streaks? Oh, UVs. Oh, I can do that. Nope. 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 Enemy counter spy planes in your area. Nope. What's up guys, it's Vashku Sharp here and welcome back to another video. As you may know, I'm going for the Dark Matter camo and therefore I also need to get gold for the boat of the launchers. The Sigma was already a pain in the ass because it was just too hard to get the double kills with it, but luckily I'm done with that and I got it already in gold. Now I'm almost done with the RPG since this one is way more easy to get the gold except for this lovely challenge where you need to destroy 25 aerial score streaks. This means you need to shoot down UVs, counter UVs, care packages or attack helicopters. And what's so fun is about the RPG, it doesn't shoot in a straight line like you saw in the intro of the video. It goes everywhere, so it's kinda hard to shoot down aerial score streaks when it doesn't go in a straight line. You will think it will go in a straight line, but no, so that makes this challenge so hard as you will need to shoot down 25 of these streaks. But I found a way to get it a little bit faster and make your progress easier, but believe me, it still will be hard, no doubt about that. But before we move on, make sure to drop a like if you want to make my day. And if you want to make my week, then subscribe if you're new here because like most of you know, if we reach a big goal of 5k subs by the end of this year, then we're gonna do a giveaway of a copy for Black Ops Cold War. Now the Flora camo slot will open on level 20, so what I recommend is to hop in a few matches of Dirty Bomb and level up your RPG fast as possible. Even now since the Nooktown map is here, there's a double speed for the weapons and for your level, so play a lot if you're going for the Dark Meta camo, level as much weapons as you can. Don't focus on the other camo challenges, as these are 3 times more easy than the Flora camo. And when the slot finally opens, make sure to use the following items for your loadout as it will make your progress way easier. The first item that I really recommend that you need to use and is gonna help you complete this challenge faster is the Assault Pack. Like you're seeing back in the video, I just throw down in my spawn and keep shooting at the aerial score streaks till I hit one and in the meantime I can restock because I have the assault pack there so I don't run out of rockets. As perks you can use whatever you prefer except for the perk slot 1 and 3. For the perk slot 1 you will really need to equip the engineer perk. This will make sure you will see a red outline on every UV, care package and so on. Literally everything from the enemy from equipment till score streaks will get a red outline. So you now don't have to look for the UV if it's caught in by the enemy, since you will see it straight away because of the red outline. For perk slot 3, the perk called blooded can be very handy since you probably will shoot down attack helicopters too. When you use this perk, they can't fire back at you so that makes it more easy to shoot them down. And for the last item use the danger close as wildcard so you have one extra rocket to start with. Now for the maps that I recommend that you need to play, because the right map is really helpful for this camo. The best map for this one is Squarf's Facts or since Nooktown is now available, I really recommend to play Nooktown as it's very small and also Cross Tracks is very small. Why do we need a small map do you think? Well if you want to take out an attack helicopter or a care package then it's way easier if it's closer to you and not further away as the rockets of the RPG goes literally everywhere. If you're noticing a care package is coming then take these out as soon as possible once they stand still before they drop the package. Because to be honest, this is actually the fastest way, but you gotta be lucky with the matches that there are people in it that use the care package constantly. This also counts for the attack helicopter, try to take it out as soon as possible when it deploys before someone else takes it out. Wait till the helicopter stands still, because every few seconds it will stand still for a few seconds and then you have the chance to take it out. And now finally the last one that you can take out and that's the super nice, most beautiful one, the UAV. For this one I don't got any tips besides just keep shooting rockets in front of the UV every time on the same exact spot. And if luck is with you then it will hit him, because the rocket only needs to be 1 inch off and he will just pass it. So that's why I really recommend the class setup that I just said, so you can restock rockets every time as I did till one rocket hits the UV. And now for the counter UV, don't even try to shoot it down because it needs 2 rockets to shoot down and that's really hard, even the UV is really hard, so why would you start with the counter UV? 
And there's actually another way to shoot down the UVs, but it's kind of hard because you gotta be lucky with the matches that people don't use the Sigma at all the time. And that's Dirty Bomb. As you see, I'm in the air, I deploy in the air and then I go straight down to the UV. But the thing is that you gotta be under the UV because when you're above it, it goes straight through the UV. I don't know why. So that's why you need to be under the UV and then shoot the UV down. That's basically it for this video. Once I have uploaded this video, I'm already working on the easy gold guide for boat launchers. So if you would like to see that, then make sure to subscribe and turn on bell notifications. If you got any further questions about this guide or maybe Cold War, just let me know in the comments and I'm always here to help you out. And like always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.